big respect and comfortable and love. How about as a future wife? I can give some loving, caring. I can prioritize my family and give everything to them. What up, it's your boy, the Solo Traveler ORD, back with another video review. Of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, hit that bell while you are here. So with this video review, I wanted to go over how a lot of foreign women, they are looking for passport bros. They're looking for men from other countries. That is what's really going on. As much as we've heard that the detractors here in the United States has said that these women don't want you, they just want your money and so forth. Nah, that's all cap. You know, because we already know that there are women that are out there. That, you know, they are gringo hunters that are looking for, looking for men. But of course, it's very easy to spot those women. It's the same thing that goes on in the States. The States have them as well. You guys act like they're only outside the United States, but there is more gringo hunters or women that are looking to, you know, for a come up in the United States than, than there are outside the United States that are actually looking for foreign men, you know, or American men, so per se. Because a lot of women in these other countries are not going to be able to uh, be in the presence of a lot of Americans. So, of course, a lot of them will not have a chance to be able to get with an American man. But if it comes down to women in the United States, well, hey, we all know they're very high pergamous. And the fact is that they're looking for the man with the, with the, with the most money <laughs> in so many words. So let's go ahead and jump into these videos and see what's up or what's going on with foreign women searching for American men, passport bros. So this first video is uh, a reference to the Philippines. So this one woman, she's actually going to give, well, she's actually on this dating um, website and it's like the vlogs or whatever and she's actually giving um answering questions and breakfast to what she's looking for in a mate and so forth so let's check this out hi my name is micah jane i'm 24 years of age um i'm from and um, also loving, caring to my siblings or uh, to other people. Um, I'm a giver and I'm a God-fearing. My hobbies are um, playing volleyball, um, cooking, um, go to the beach with my family, and um, also singing at the karaoke. You see what's up with, her, with the things that she like to do? It, it's very... Easy, she's very easy going. This is kind of what you expect outside the United States. A woman is very easy going um, and she will expect the same thing from you. She's not, she don't have these high expectations of what you should be bringing to, the, to her and so forth. And the first question says, do you have children? No, I don't have. But are you open to the possibility of having children in the future? Yes, of course. I would like love to. Like how many? Um, I think two to three children. Why did you join the A Foreign Affairs? The question. I'm hoping to, um, uh, I can meet my um, destiny here. I can, um, hoping that I can Ow. see the, my lover, my, um, my perfect husband in the future. You see, women in other countries, they still believe in, you know, finding that love to build together, to have a family with for a long period of time. You know, we know that how it is in the States that most marriages, most relationships are short term. They're only for, let's say, three to five years. And after that, that's when, you know, <laughs> women just ready to leave. Next question. Why do you prefer foreign men? I want to experience um, a different, you know, a different person like in uh, from far, like from the U.S., Australia and like that. What are the qualities that you are looking for in a foreign man? Being gentleman, um, from being um, um, sensitive to um, everything that, you know, uh, there's such a loving person like that. Interesting, she did not say a Pookie a, or Ray Ray. She did not say she's looking for a man that's over six feet tall, who makes six figures with a six pack. She did not go over the, the, the three sixes. She's basically looking for a good man down to earth 
basically what most women in the United States will call a square. And they're fine with that. They don't need no bad boy because they, they've already seen that. A lot of these women have actually seen that in their neighborhoods and so forth, and they've stayed away from those men. I'm sure there are a, a good amount of women that actually have deal with them, but a lot of them don't end up having kids with them. Or you may find the one that do, but of course, of course we stay away from those women. Um, you wanna make sure you get with women who are childless and are looking to settle down and have a family. Next question, can you describe your perfect man? My perfect man, I want um, this much taller than me. And, um, you know, I love Joker because I love, I, because I am a happy person and I want everything to him, like, um, for what I have. So one thing to note is the average height of a Filipina is about five foot one. So of course she's looking for someone that is taller and most men is gonna qualify coming from the West because most of us are over five foot three at least, or at least, you know, five foot six, five foot seven, five foot six, five foot seven is, is average for men in the United States. So when she says much taller, you know, it's not like she's saying over six feet tall. She's just saying someone that's just taller than her. Now, the next question is, as a wife, what can you offer in a, in a relationship? Big respect and comfortable and love. How about as a future wife? Can give some loving, caring. I can prioritize my family and give everything to them. The first thing she says, respect. That is what men love. We like that off the top. You know what I mean? If you're gonna respect me as a man, you're gonna respect the house that we have. That's what makes us happy. So already out the gate, she knows what men are looking for. And then she said that she wanna dedicate her time to her family. Her family is very important. So <laughs> the thing about it is most women in most of the westernized countries, they don't care about family. For them, they care about getting the bag. They care about their career. That comes first, and then, then comes family. And then when they make a family, they're, they're going back to their career because they believe that their career is what makes them of a part or makes them of value. And we know that that is not true. Men do not look at a woman's career as value to the women, but of what she can bring to the table as far as the family aspect. That's the most important thing. And that's what's twisted in the West. Next question is, how do you feel dating someone with a handicap? good question it's okay um, I can help him um, everything and everything his needs I am I'll be there for for him oh man she said it doesn't matter she's gonna take care of him she she is selfless a lot of these women are selfless especially in the Philippines next question how about dating someone with grown-up children it's okay too. It depends on uh, on his children if they accept me also. No, because I believe that age doesn't matter. Do you have age preference? Oh uh, no. So there you go. Cause that's how it is. That's how women think about men. You know, in these other countries, these women is not about what men can do for them. It's about them building a life with a man and creating a family. And this is an actual lost art in the West. We have become to be very individuals that we only care about ourselves. And a lot of women have become to be very selfish and don't care about family. So it's very important for you guys to make, you basically do your research and to see what is better for you, a woman in another country or continue dealing with what's in the, in the West, in the States and knocking your head against the wall. <laughs> which one is better so well hey leave a comment below let me know what you guys think about this video don't forget to like subscribe and share and i'm out <laughs>